Welcome back. Joining me now in the kitchen is the executive chef at Blue Sky Kitchen and Bar, John Homer. Thank you so much for coming in. Of course. Thanks for having Good me. Good to see you again. All right. So we're going to start off here. And we're going to make a brine. Everybody had a great Memorial Day, right? Yeah. So we have some leftover ice, icy light, iced tea light, sorry. Iced tea light, So yeah. in my brine, we have salt. Okay. We got brown sugar. We got garlic. We got peppercorn. This is and awesome. then, of course, we got the iced tea light. So all you're doing here is dissolving the salt and sugar, and then we're going to pour it into the ice just to cool it off a little quicker. I got rosemary, onion, lemon, and then, of course, the, the iced beer. tea light. Yeah. What do you think of the beer? So, I, I mean, you're a big it's, fan? It's, a, it's a great beer. It's, it's fun for the holidays. It and was it's great. Pittsburgh. Yeah. And it's, it's Pittsburgh. Yeah, it's very Pittsburgh. Right, you can't get more Pittsburgh than the combination. So then I already took care of a lot of this already, so we have our brine chicken right down in here. I got cheddar cheese, I got caramelized onions, I got bacon, and of course we're in Pittsburgh. You gotta have the pierogi. Holy cow, so, is this something you're serving now on so, the menu? Yeah, well, not on the menu, it's just our special for the week, but I made your staff, because last time I was here, your staff was like, oh, we never get to eat. So I was like, you know what? That's not true. Don't I, listen to this. See, they manipulate the system. They, they manipulate the so system, good. and they yes. did a really yeah. good job of doing it, because now <laughs> they have all the sandwiches. <laughs> So yeah, but um, this is for you to try. But um, oh my gosh! Yeah, we're very excited. Uh, we, on top of that special, we have a block party coming up on uh, June 10th. Well, tell us where Blue Sky is located. Blue Sky is over in East Liberty. Okay. Um, we opened up a little under a year ago now. July 7th is our one year mark. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah. So J June 10th, we're doing a little block party to celebrate that one year anniversary. Um, we are our. our Menu is just like super globally influenced. Uh, Matt Turbiner, our owner and biggest supporter, he he was came to me and was like, "Hey, what can you do to help me with the menu that I want to create?" Yeah. And we work as a team. All of my staff. I'm very lucky to have such a good staff. They all influence everything that we do there. So this is amazing. And I I saw that you posted on Instagram the next big Pittsburgh sandwich. Yeah. I mean. This is it. We're hoping. Yeah. I'm telling you, this is so good. It, there's a sweetness coming, and I'm sure it's from a little bit of the brine, and then the caramelized onion. Absolutely, and then the um, the Ooh, house I'm made the... the house made garlic aioli. That's on a couple of our sandwiches at the restaurant, our chicken club, our chimichurri, mm -hmm. which you saw earlier before the break. Um, I mean, our sandwiches are, are big hits over there, so I love chimichurri. We're very excited. Um, I do have another surprise for you. I know you I've stole my thunder a little bit. I'm sorry, but we're gonna we're gonna try and see. We're gonna compare a little bit. All right. So I went for my cottage cheese ice cream. I went peanut butter. I went honey and cottage cheese, and that's all that's in this. And then I brought you some toppings there: blueberries, now, chocolate have you, chips. Have you tried this? I tried this actually, and pastry chef Selena Progar yes, tried it this on. morning, and, and she loved it. So really, we got the seal of approval from her. Now, does she like cottage cheese? Because we both like cottage cheese, okay. yeah. So it's okay. great. Let's give it a try. But yeah, so check out our Instagram. Um, we always have our in our events coming up on there. I mean, I don't hate it. It's like. I think it's just that it's not the consistency of ice cream. It's different. It definitely is. I mean, the but the fattier content you go on the cottage cheese, the more, you know, closer you'll get to ice cream. We it's, went with 2% in that one. So if you go full fat, you'll get closer to ice cream. And I think, too, that with the peanut butter, it's it adds to the creaminess of it. I think it takes away a little bit of that sour taste of the mm -hmm. cottage cheese. Not that cottage cheese is sour in itself, but it takes away from it a little bit. Are you going to so. put this on the menu? No, it was just for you. Trending Tuesday, come on. It's Trending Tuesday. <laughs> it's come Trending on. Tuesday. It's amazing. I'm so, so glad you got on board. What else are you working on for your menu? So our our summer menu has have hit. We have uh, we have our jerk chicken on there. We have uh, tortellini on there. We have our salmon, which is a big seller all the time. It's got seasonal vegetables. I mean, we got summer salads. We're come check us out. I mean, the 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 selection is just ridiculous what we can go to. I mean, like I said, globally influenced all over the map. Well, I like this because it looks like you're having fun and creating exactly. new things, even exactly. with specials. Our ownership group is awesome too. They let me do this kind of stuff. They're just like, have fun with it. Put good food out there, make people happy. And we're always listening to our customers too. Listen, so anytime you want to come back and make us happy with Let's your delicious food, you're more than welcome. For sure. Thank you so much. Thank you for having so me. So good to have you back. And you gotta try the ice cream. Yeah, the ice cream. Alante, you're in. You gotta <laughs> try it.